already dead and others are dying. It's what men who once worked at CCAD call Corpus Christi Army Depot's dirty little secret. Tonight, Action 10's Andy Lascano exposes what's been covered up for 30 years. These people have something in common. They worked together at the Corpus Christi Army Depot during the Vietnam years of the late 60s and early 70s. They have something else in common, too. We are told many of them died of cancer. William Maher and Rodney Miller worked at the depot, too. They also are dying of cancer. I'm probably a dead man. You're looking at a dead man. I do know that Agent Orange is a very bad, lethal thing. Very dangerous. We didn't know about it. We didn't even know they had put sprayers on those things when we was working on them. The spraying of Agent Orange during the Vietnam War was referred to by the U.S. military as Operation Ranch Hand. Its purpose was to defoliate trees and shrubs in South Vietnam's heavily forested countryside, denying the Viet Cong any cover. The widespread heavy spraying okay. impacted not only the enemy, but American soldiers as well. It was literally in the water they drank and the food they ate. It was the fine, white, pungent mist that dropped out of the air they breathed. The UH-1 Huey helicopters were among the aircraft used for spraying. They would be brought here to the Corpus Christi Army Depot for repairs and overhaul, then sent back to Vietnam. Over the pilot door and the co-pilot door, it said, this aircraft is contaminated. But they never told us what, what was contamination was. Maher defueled the helicopters. He believes they were contaminated with Agent Orange. He came to this conclusion after watching a 1989 documentary called Secret Agent, which told how Agent Orange was used in Vietnam and what it was doing to those exposed to it. He also believes it's why he's dying of cancer. After I saw that thing, I made a vow that I would, I would get even with them for doing that to us without telling us, that I would, I would tell everything I knew. Mayor's mad at the United States government because they won't give him or his co-workers the same medical benefits as veterans. Each time he's filed a claim with the Department of Labor or the Veterans Administration, it's been denied. To draw attention to his cause, he went on a 101-day hunger strike at the main gate to the base in the early 90s. He told us he was arrested and spent a few days in jail. But they made us sick. They ought to have the responsibility to say we made those men sick and we gotta help them. Miller disassembled the helicopters, but his health deteriorated so bad he quit working at CK and spent time in three different hospitals. That's when he was told he had cancer. One day they took a biopsy and told me what was wrong and I had lymphoma cancer, large cell. And they said we're gonna give you something to, and you can go on home and uh, live as long as you can till you die. I said, it don't sound good. <laughs> so I, I said, well, send me to MD Anderson. That's the cancer hospital. I said, okay. We'll send you over there, but you're going to die anyhow. And their concerns aren't self-centered. What about their families? Was their health affected as well? We requested an interview with a commander at CCAD for this story. They referred us to the Department of Defense in Washington, D.C. They, in turn, referred us to the Veterans Administration, who have yet to return our calls. Andy Lascano, Action 10 News. They say the U.S. government is lying, while well, many of them are dying from having worked at the Corpus Christi Army Depot during the Vietnam War. It all comes down to helicopters that came back from Vietnam and what shape those choppers were in when they arrived at CCAD. Andy Lascano has the latest in CCAD's Dirty Little Secret. When Huey helicopters came back from Vietnam, many came to Corpus Christi and CCAD to be worked on by men like William Maher, who is now dying of cancer, and Rodney Miller, who's also dying of cancer. And both men have stories of others who are already dead but the federal government has denied any responsibility. And they use documents from the late 80s and early 90s which quote a CCAD supervisor who says the helicopters were decontaminated and washed before being worked on. But now a former Marine who also worked at the base says the government is wrong. The men are right. The choppers were filthy. There was no pre-cleaning of any of the aircraft when they came back. So we were crawling all over them, oily, fuel all over them, hydraulic fluid, uh, 
you could see where they were not body parts but like pieces of, of hair and some kind of matter that looked like it might have been skin or something from and you can see blood inside of them. Bill Martin's a former United States Marine Corps corporal and now a member of the Del Mar College Board of Regents. He thinks his own health problems are connected to his years at CCAD. Now, I knew that when I would get in a, what we called the hell hole in the middle of the Huey and worked in there with some of those different cleaning agents that we used that uh, you'd get out of there high. Maher believes his problems are connected to the chemical agent orange and he's angry especially at that supervisor who said the choppers were clean. And he sent it to the cleaning shop this agent orange yet he didn't warn anybody in the cleaning shop that he was sending agent orange to the cleaning shop and who gave Mr. Alan Martinez the authority to do that? I know they do. I know they do. Especially one fellow Mr. Martinez out there and he's lied all the way through it that he knew that was, all those things were clean and, and ready to work on. And what of William Tilly, Jose Saldivar, Homer Ramirez, Doak Russell, Randy Havel, Gene Conklin, Donnie Williams, Rudy Gonzalez, and many others who worked out there, who we are told have died or are dying, many of them of cancer. It's strange that there would be that many that had, would have passed on from cancer. And, and the connecting link, I guess, is the fact that all of us were around the cleaning shop or in the disassembly area or in the abduction side of the aircraft. Andy Loscano, Action 10 News.